Uh, kia ora. Yeah, um, I'll try to keep this short in case a publisher rushes the stage and tries to nick my speech. Uh, yeah, or claim a percentage. It is um, quite a commercial speech. It's got quite a lot of potential. Um, Don McGlashan in the Hall of Fame. Um, I thought about Don briefly, and uh, I'll give him one thing. He's a yachtsman who's into sailing competitively. Uh, that's, um, uh, he's also into reading nautical adventures. That's his favourite kind of book. So that's uh, two things I can give him. Uh, I have no idea what these nautical adventures actually entail. I guess it's people doing some stuff on the sea. Uh, Don's done stuff on both land and sea, but when he's um, on the water competitively sailing in his yacht, he's really into wind shifts and getting wet. So that's um, several things I can give him. Uh, he's also been a long-term chronicler of life in this country. Um, he's written about cars, roads, windows, cupboards, heaters. <coughs> He uh, finds life in the mundane and inanimate, which is just as well, really. Uh, maybe his next song could be about an all-black. I've got two more jokes. I'll let you know when they're happening. But that's the first one. That's pretty good, eh? I like that one. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my favourite Don songs are spooky Kiwis with a gothic edge, uh, the man-alone queasiness of a thing well made. The bogans fried in a festival nightmare in White Valiant. The death nearby in Envy of Angels. Uh, the front lawn song, Andy, I reckon that's one of the most beautiful songs to come out of New Zealand, actually. <laughs> True that, yeah. Um, and me, despite being as familiar as bread and butter, bom bom. Uh, that's a classic. Um, awesome melody in the verses. Uh, I first came across Don via the brilliant uh, Blam 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 single, don't fight it, Marsha, it's bigger than both of us. Uh, I was a kid in Dunedin when that came out, and um, I have to say, uh, in those days, we were quite suspicious of the Auckland bands. Um, we wondered if they weren't just a bit um, ostentatious, uh, pretentious, moneyed, privileged, sheltered, affected, overdressed, um, and snobby. You know, I'm a bit like how Ponsonby is now. Uh, but, you know, um, Don't Fight It, Marsha rose above those uh, provincial prejudices and uh, was and is an all-timer. Um, one other thing I'll give Don, which is um, eight things I've given him, is that he's an excellent lyricist, uh, poetic, conscientious, reflecting a time and place. And, you know, a good lyric gives a song a backbone of integrity, uh, even on a subliminal level, you know, even when the audience doesn't hear half the words. So come on, APRA members, we can do a lot better than rhyming tonight and all right, uh, or higher and fire, or miss or kiss, or love and above, or true and you. And um, please enter the hall of shame if you've put these four words into a line, your body to me. Uh, Don's always, uh, yeah, yuck. Um, Don's always uh, done, done a lot better than that. Um, uh, his stories can feel instantly familiar because they're all around us but no one's described them in that particular way songs, lyrics and ideas can seem obvious but only after someone else has said them or pointed them out uh, so that pointing out has now steered uh, Don to the Hall of Fame um, I'd just like to humbly remind everybody but Don especially that I was inducted into the Hall of Fame a few years ago and um, what you need to know is that your life is miraculously transformed <laughs> and um, it becomes amazing overnight and it stays amazing for the rest of time. You know, people are always cheering and clapping and um, people are yelling out from work sites and, uh, you know, it gets a bit tiring, you know, standing around like a statue all day. But uh, Don, in the Hall of Fame, what you need to know is that um, fish no longer swim straight on by. Ducks paws mid waddle. Seagulls squawk and refuse to steal your chip. Hawks track back and circle round, not because you're dead or because you smell like you're dead, but because you're in the Hall of Fame. In the Hall of Fame, small children cry when they see you. Uber drivers have no idea what you're on about. 
Everyone associated with the music industry offers their services for free because they love their jobs the same way that musicians love their jobs and do it for virtually nothing as well. And in the Hall of Fame, no one can hear that fucking amazing bit you did in the second verse. <laughs> Don, may you have many more second verses ahead of you. Um, please enjoy this video message. Regulation has been a constant. That's why he's a cultural icon. Uh, you know, it's several decades, and there's been hits every decade, not necessarily with the same bunch of musicians, and sometimes just by himself. The history of that man is immense, it's crazy, so it's just, yeah, it's cool to keep learning. Everybody tours nowadays because you can't make any income from record sales anymore. Essentially, you have to get on the road. I never really thought that this would be a career. I never really thought that I would have a career in music. I always imagined I'd do this for a while and then do something else that would feed the kids and not be so hand-to-mouth. But somebody passed me that ball, and I'm going to run with it. A great Don song could not have been written by anyone in the world but Don, and I think that's... I think that's a really amazing gift. I think Don has the heart of a poet. I think he can take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. And I saw that a lot during the front lawn. You know, we'd all throw in ideas, well, particularly for our show, throw in ideas, even just a little riff or something. I remember playing something on my ukulele and saying, like, I've had this in my mind for quite a while. And he turned that into the most wonderful song. So he's, I think he's very generous as a collaborator. In Blam Blam Blam, we soaked up the whole notion of punk rock. If you're trying to do something, but you don't have the skills, you could fail catastrophically, or you could fail in an exciting way. Everything around me tells me I'm right. Everything around me tells me I'm right. I'm right. The Front Lawn was an acoustic theatre show. We were on the road a lot with The Front Lawn. Harry came back from studying physical theatre in Paris. And I came back from being a drummer with a modern dance company in New York. We wanted people to take us seriously. And when we performed first, the audience, they were falling about and laughing. We were kind of appalled. <laughs> I've known Don McGlashan since I was at school, and uh, we've been working together on and off for, like, 40 years, and he's one of my best friends and an incredible person. I'm not sure about this whole um, Hall of Fame business, though. I mean, I think Don would rather be somewhere a bit smaller and cozier, like the Kitchen of Fame or, or the, uh, you know, the Bathroom of Fame. You know, I think he'd be more happier there, but, you know, that's, that's not up to me. Ah! What am I gonna do? Keep calm. Who says that? This is your calm inner voice. Nowadays, I'm collaborating with Harry and Kitty and Lou, the kids' animated TV series. He writes and directs, and I do the scores. He and I work on the songs together. Joy, give it away, give it away. Songwriting is quite solitary, and when you're attached to another project, you've got a big gang to be part of. Give it away, give it away. Nominated for a BAFTA, I'm really enjoying it. When we 
made number two, it was, you know, a lot of people expect it to be like hip hop y or traditional Pacific music or whatever, but Don was able to hold all of these influences together and also really pay respect to Levuka, where my family comes from in Fiji, by including that music in our process. Light up John Bryce on the 5th of November Make it party half that day He's talented, intelligent, and with an activist edge. He wrote an angry and very moving song on his recent album about John Bryce, whose name many New Zealanders won't know. But for me, that song captured the raw emotion I feel when I hear that name. And my shout out to Don for actually putting that on record. Working with him is always so lovely because of his enthusiasm. He is quite an irrepressible person to work with. The only thing that would make it better would be if he could get over the thing where he doesn't let anybody else use the note D. Being in a band with him for seven years was really hard because no one else was allowed to use the note D because it was his note. D for Don, that's what he would say in the rehearsals and we'd all like be okay Don. And then one day, I accidentally played one. I played one when we were rehearsing a song and he was like, he stopped the rehearsal. He was like, what? What did you just play? And I was like, um, I think it was a C double sharp. And he was like, oh, okay, cool. I, I have this idea about Don that he, he just kind of arrived fully formed as a songwriter and he just hit the ground running. I think he's always had a really focused vision of what kind of songwriter he is and, and, and wants to be. He's a great storyteller. And he's devoted himself through music and his lyrics to, to telling stories through songs. Don's music transcends age and generations. Um, his music is for Aotearoa New Zealand. And how lucky are we? I'm really wrapped that um, Don has finally been officially and formally recognised as the icon he truly is. Ngā mihi kia koe e hoa. Kia ora. Well done, Don. You, you deserve it. It's great. It's fantastic to celebrate our people. We should be celebrating our people, and, 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 and you're one of them. Kia ora hoa. Whaka nui i tō whaka ingoatia he Hall of Fame recipient. Um, ka nui te mihi aroha ki a koe i runga nui tō mahi nui i tō oranga pai. Nō reda tēnā koe i te hoa. Hey, Don, I'm so thrilled. Congratulations. This is absolutely perfect that you should receive this honour. Well deserved and very, very proud of you. A man who's so humble as yourself, probably not used to this level of praise and plaudits from your peers, to steal your nerves and to help you up on stage for your acceptance speech. Lovely bottle of uh, whiskey I know you enjoy is heading for the table right now and you and I might share a dram before you step up to receive your reward. Have a great night, Don. Bottoms up. Please welcome to the stage our man, Don Baglashan. bit overwhelmed uh, and lost for words, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, crikey. Thank you, Shane. Um, I'd just like to say a special thank you to 
some who are in this room. Uh, my children, Louis and Mo, and their lovely partners, Rose and Dom, who are here tonight. Thank you, Louis and Mo, for eating a lot of underwhelming dinners uh, when we didn't have enough money for good ingredients, and I was a bit distracted by writing songs. Um, huge thanks to their mum, Mary Ann, for the great adventure we started when we met in New York all those years ago in the, new, in the Laura Dean Dancers and Musicians, and for your patience, determination, and good humour through all the touring, all the stress, all the uncertainty of this musical life. I'd like to thank my sisters, Annie and Kathy, who are here tonight for their unshakable support and for putting up, uh, evidently I had tantrums when I was little. I've got no memory of this, of course, but thank you so much for putting up with them. Um, uh, and thanks also to their partners, Richard and the late Peter. Thanks to my dear niece, Frith, for generally being fabulous. My cousin, Barbara, and her husband, Gerard, for all their support and encouragement over the years. Um, I'd also like to big, do a big shout out to some of the wonderful collaborators I've had who have taught me so much and have done me the honor of turning up tonight. From scratch, Phil Dadson, Wayne Laird, and Jeff Chappell, just one of the iterations of From Scratch. I'm so glad that you're here tonight with your partners, Camilla, Sally, and Miriam. Blam, 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 Tim Mann and Mark Bell, my first touring band. So many beers, so many magic mushrooms and flat tires in the snow on steep South Island mountain passes. From the Mutton Birds here tonight, we've got David Long and Ross Burge. Alan Gregg is in London, but he sends his love. You guys, we made some great music together. We came out the end of the major label tunnel, more or less intact, and I value our friendship so much. From my solo and current work, the marvelous, marvelous musicians, John Segovia and Chris O'Connor. Big shout out to you guys. Chris, I think you're now my longest term collaborator, uh, and I'm so lucky. From my current band, The Others, the inimitable James Duncan and the inscrutable Anita Clark, along with longtime collaborator, Mark Bell. Um, my friends in film who've given me so much and so much work and taught me so much. Uh, Tor Fraser, who's not here tonight, but he was in that little clip. And Fiona Copland, producer of uh, Kitty and Lou. Thanks for coming. And recently, utterly and inexplicably pointing a camera at me, because uh, she's making a documentary about me, Shirley Horrocks. My friends, um, special mention to Shane Carter, for letting some of his coolness rub off on me, on occasion. Thank you so much, Shane, for that. And Sean Donnelly for so many breakfasts, lunches, advice shared, and problems solved. Long may they continue. For long-term friendship, understanding, and mentoring, I'd like to say a special thank you to Neil and Sharon Finn. You need allies in this business. Um, and Paul Crowther is one of my oldest allies. One of, the first, one of the first sound technicians I ever had and someone I still go to to work out new approaches and ideas. Lots of love to you, Paul and Joe. Uh, Chris Tate, who's not sitting at a table, he's actually mixing the sound for this wonderful event. Worked with you for so many years in the Mutton Birds, Chris, and how lucky we were to work with you, mate. Um, I'd like to thank my publisher, Native Tongue Concord, Chris Goff was the first person to sign anything long-term with me, and I'm really grateful to him for that vote of confidence. Thank you to APRA for all you do for me and for, the music, and for the music community. And thanks to you all, simply for being musicians and writers. We need more music. Keep it up, everybody. Thank you.